Hi, I'm Ben Newton with Sumo Logic, and I'm going to do a demo of unified logs and metrics for you today. So what we're looking at here is the application status dashboard that includes both logs and metrics. On the left here, we see the latency across different components of my application. And on the right, we see customer logins. Both of these are important business metrics that I want to track over time. Here I can see that I had a huge uh, increase in latency, which means things are slower for my users at the same time that there was a burst in CPU, memory usage, as well as seeing a huge drop in uh, customer logins and some errors. Now, what I really want to go from here is I want to see if I can start to isolate what systems were causing the problem. So if I look at the CPU usage here, I can see that server 2 looks okay, whereas server 1 here had a huge burst. So maybe what I want to do is I want to filter by those servers to see if I can learn anything. So if I filter first by server 2, I don't really see many of those patterns. Now if I look at uh, server 1, I immediately see something different. This is where the latency increase is coming from. The logins dropped to zero. There was a big burst in CPU memory usage as well as a bunch of errors. I think I found the system that's the problem. So now I'd like to drill down into CPU usage for server 1. Now what I'd really like to compare this to the memory usage. And using our autocomplete, I can start to see what my options are. What I really want to do is look at server 1 again. And I want to look at metrics that might be on that system. I want to look at memory used. And uh, I'd like that to be on another axis because it's you know different than CPU. So I'm going to put it on the right axis and do a different line type here. I'm seeing memory overlaid with CPU. And I can see a very high correlation here. At the same time that I had a huge CPU spike, I had a very large memory spike as well. So this has helped me determine that there's probably something going on in this particular system. Now I might want to compare the behavior of this particular system to similar systems that are doing the same thing. So for example, I want to take the same uh, cluster and CPU, and then I want to view uh, the average over time. I can see this uh, the performance of the, of the cluster is mapping what I'm seeing in this server, which makes sense because uh, this server is part of that cluster. But what I really might want to see is compare that to uh, something that happened yesterday. So I can use something called a time shift and I want to time shift by one day. And so now I can see that yesterday there was a bit of a spike here but it really wasn't the same. So this is clearly something that is probably unique. Now I've determined that it's there's a problem on this system. Clearly some application component was causing a huge CPU and memory spike. I can now dig down into my logs at the same period of time. And what I really want to see is the raw logs. So I want to run log reduce on that. And this will help determine the patterns that help me troubleshoot. So here I can see that there's basically two patterns here. There's one where there's a JDBC timeout to an RDS database. And then there's this one particular error that said there was a communications link failure because uh, it can't find a certificate anymore. And this is causing a timeout to my database, which is then causing the latency, which is then causing CPU and memory problems, which is causing problems for my users. So I now basically tracked those symptoms for my metrics all the way to um, a problem in the logs and this is something that I can actually fix. So thank you for watching this video and go look on sumologic.com for more information about unified logs and metrics.